Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you um, different art materials that I have right now. These are a mix of my Amazon purchase, um, a local purchase here in the Philippines, and also a package from a brand that I am working with right now. Alright, so let's start. So let's start with my Amazon purchase. So I saw these, um, this is from the Kuretake brand, it's called Starry Colors. Um, I got the gold set and when I posted this on my Instagram stories, so many of you um, commented that it's a really nice uh, gold paint. Okay, let me just open it. Alright, so there you go. Um, so when you open it, it looks like this. So you have... Um, this is just paper it's cardboard and then the pants here are in the regular um, kuretake pants okay so it's nice that the colors are also printed underneath okay so they look very very pretty so what do you guys think do you have this one also some of you said that this is very pigmented so I'm gonna do a separate video for like swatching I actually just wanted to show you guys some of the new art materials okay so I feel like with this set you cannot throw away the box because you need this to protect like the paints inside unless you maybe you can find a different uh, packaging okay so you can see it was very difficult to open I had to rip it open Let's just put it back. So next, I bought this color from Daniel Smith. It's the buff titanium. Let's check out the color. Okay. So it has a the, the pastel-like yellow. And I'm just going to put a small dot right here. I think that you can easily create this color, but I wanted it. <laughs> It to be convenient so I just bought this shade okay let's try to like, check the color on paper that is very beautiful so you can actually paint some nice like loose muted colors or muted flowers rather that is very very nice. I know that this is also granulating so we're gonna have to wait and see if it will granulate on this paper. Alright so I'm just gonna leave this and set this aside. Let's go to the next item. So next I got this also on Amazon is the Pantone postcards. So I've been seeing artists uh, paint on these postcards and a friend of mine told me that there is this set on Amazon, so I got curious. Okay, so um, we probably need to use gouache or acrylic for this uh, type of painting. And also, I just wanted to thank you guys for using my affiliate links on Amazon um, because of you guys, I'm able to purchase different art materials that I can feature and show to you guys so really really thankful for everyone who used my link alright so let's open this wow so you have a lot of postcards that is so nice okay let's get one this is what it looks like the back then some artists would paint on this part so i'm excited to try that out although i'm not really a landscape painter but um, i'm gonna show you guys when i've tried it out all right so now let's go to my purchase from a local shop so i bought this uh Bao Hong academy this is also available on amazon but um, i'm using this five by seven inch paper because um, I've been painting on smaller size papers just to finish 
um, faster. <laughs> so here are some of the examples. It's actually a nice paper to kind of doodle on. It's not as expensive because it's a student grade paper. And also, I love the quality of the Baohong Academy. It's really, really good for a student grade paper. Now, I'm going to try if I can find the link for this Baohong Academy on uh, Amazon. I'm going to put the link below. Next, um, from the same local shop, I also got this. So this is, uh, I think this is called the Rubber Cement Pickup. Um, but you use this to take out the the masking fluid. So um, if you've seen other artists, they would usually try to rub the dried masking fluid. Um, or sometimes they use eraser. But for me, this is like the easiest way to take out the, the masking fluid on paper. I just don't have an example for you guys, but next time I'm going to show you guys how to use this. Okay, next, uh, let's check out some items that were sent to me. So, this is uh, from a local distributor of Winter and Newton in the Philippines. And they gave me this Winter and Newton Cotman set. And I, actually, I'm swatching it for a video. So, this is what it looks like inside. Okay, it's really cool because you can, like, this is placed right here, so you can just take it out and it extends your palette like this. It's really nice, and you have uh, you have a brush right here, and you have twelve half pans. Okay, so here are some of the swatches that I did earlier. It's it's actually a nice set. The colors are quite vibrant, and they also sent me cut one tubes as well so I'm super excited because there are colors that I haven't tried from the Winter and Newton cut one line so this is the student grade line and it's quite interesting to see how it will work from what I remember the cut one uh, paints they're not as pigmented as the artist grade line of Winter and Newton but they're good enough to be used by beginners so next, I'm so happy because they actually sent me Arches papers. So they sent me the rough uh, version. This is 300 GSM and I'm excited because I've never tried the rough version. I only use a cold press. So uh, another block that they sent me is this hot press version. So hot press is usually used for like realistic botanicals because it has a smooth texture but i'm also excited to try some um, loose style on this paper because i've seen other artists use this for a loose watercolor floral style and also i've tried arches hot press paper before and i remember that it was really of good quality so i'm curious to see if it's still the same right now and then for the rough paper um I guess this will look a lot better on landscape style of painting. So <laughs> I quite there was to try painting landscape again, but I'm gonna try it out and show you, show it to you guys. You can also follow me on Instagram so you can see more of um, the things that I share there. And then lastly, they sent me um, their gift wrapper collection. So this is made in the Philippines. If you ever get to drive, drop by any of the um, art stores here, you might want to check this out because the artist is also a Filipino artist who made this uh, illustration. She is uh, from, her brand is lifeafterbreakfast.ph. So you can try to check that out. I'm so excited to use this as a gift wrapper. And I think we can even use this as a cover for like a handmade sketchbook. So maybe that's something I can try next time. Lastly, they also sent me a set of watercolor brush from the Winter and Newton Cotman line. So we have round brushes, a rigor brush. There's also, um, oh, there's no filbert brush, but they have this like angled brush and a fan brush. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys this one. I'm just going to quickly insert this. This is the My Mary Blue. I also bought this um, recently, but I haven't been able to swatch. 
this is a box of like five tubes i got this for a super good deal of about 32 dollars but i think right now it's around 39 um i'm gonna let you guys know if it goes on sale again so the colors right here are cadmium yellow deep you have quadacridone lake green gold ultramarine deep and also paint gray so i'm really excited to try this one out too all right so that's it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed checking out the new art materials that i have here i will definitely be using them in the future videos and if you want to support this channel please do subscribe to my channel for more art videos and if you want to learn some watercolor uh, style a loose style of florals you can definitely check out the link below i'm gonna put my skillshare class link i have more than 20 classes about loose watercolor florals so that's it i'll see you again in the next video bye